Joe travelled back to the 80s To the movies he fondly recall With Annie and Tom Cruise And Sly and Bruce Willis Before he went ball Back when the movies were simple And the plots had no deep commentary Just some hero with biceps And witty one-liners Shooting all he could see And then all some steam back but I guess the grass is greener When you're wearing those rose tinted shades But while he's stuck in the eighties John will take these movie lemons And give you lemonade So sit back and relax Just sit back wherever you are For the movie reviews and the science bits too Motion oh, case cinema Let the man go. Yeah, right. Fuck you. Guyver. What a bad film. Why am I even reviewing it? Why are the Power Rangers stuck in front of the camera? These are questions that need to be answered, so let's watch this piece of shit right now. Something alien has invaded the body of Sean Barker, a force which now lives within him, the ultimate power of the Giver. Searching for the truth about the Giver and his own destiny, because he's a boring bastard, Sean is drawn deep into the caves of Utah. But, to his peril, he also discovers the Kronos Corporation, a corrupt alien corporate empire with two deadly aims, to steal the superhuman power of the Giver and his armour, and then take control of the Earth. That's three, isn't it? Well, whatever. This film makes no sense. So, the film starts with these stupid criminals looking at Barbie dolls or something. Um, turns out they've got cocaine mixed in with the plastic, which is a load of shit. And then, before you know it, up pops the Giver kicking people's ass. I mean, why don't they just shoot him? They start shooting at the pipes until they waste all the bullets, but as soon as he walks out, they stand there. Idiots. Then you've got your typical Power Rangers kind of fight. Oy. I don't know what it is about this clip here, but it just always makes me laugh for some reason. The cop getting shot is just hilariously funny. Just watch. It's just, I don't know. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, he just falls down. He's already on his knees. It, just doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It just makes me laugh every time. So, now we go to the house of where Sean Barker lives. Sean Barker's the guy, if you didn't already know. Now... Let's see what he's doing with himself. Oh, he's reading a newspaper. This film is so exciting, I swear to God. Hey, wait, what did that just say? Armoured Vigilante? Oh, come on, you don't mean the gladiators in town, do you? Stop! I'm ordering you to stop! This is a citizen's arrest! Pull over now! Then there's some hillbilly ranting on Sean's TV about a beast in the woods. And then he shows a picture of a drawing. Now, that's classic. It looks like a three-year-old did it, for God's sake. But it's got Sean's attention, so it must be good. So, Sean gets himself a lift by hitchhiking all the way to Utah, and he goes into a shop and inquiring about a dig site. The old man won't tell him anything unless he buys something, and once he buys something, the old man just simply says that he doesn't know jack shit. Classic trading skills. <laughs> Do you know how to reach them? I have to get to that dig. No, no, nothing. Shut up, you silly old git. Why don't he just use his guy of the powers to kill the guy and get the information that he needs? Anyway, luckily some girl who just happens to be in the shop at the same time knows where this dig is because, ooh, she works there. Yeah, I see it in my dreams and I put it down on paper. Oh, Sean, what a way to come across as a geek. Yeah. I do these drawings when I'm asleep. No wonder she looks at him like he's a wanker. And then she makes her excuses and drives off. Who is that guy? I recognise him. Does anybody else recognise him? He looks so familiar. Sean somehow gets himself a job digging at the site. And what the hell's going wrong with his neck? That is disgusting. Who is that guy? He keeps popping up all the time. Answers on a postcard, please. Anyway, they have a bit of a party, and why are they holding hands all of a sudden? It's not like the boyfriend and girlfriend. They only met each other a few hours ago. Oh, God. <coughs> there goes his neck again. Jesus Christ. Control it, lads. Take it easy. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Open sesame? Oh, come on, get the fuck out of town. Saying open sesame does not miraculously open a portal in a wall that leads to a spaceship hidden in the rock. 
Anyway, they go inside the spaceship and the bird sticks a hand in that thing. Like, you're gonna do that. It's not like you're Flash fucking Gordon, for God's sake. Anyway, the film starts getting really dull by this point and, you know, I just want some Power Rangers action. Oh, right, here we go. Yeah, this is more like it. Well, it seems to me that Sean's had enough of being in this bloody crap film because it looks like he's going to be suicidal and jump off a mountain. What's with that face? Look at it. That's really scary. He deserves to die for that. And here he goes. Come on. Rid yourself of this terrible movie, my friend. Whoa, what the hell's that? Oh yeah, I forgot he can turn into the guy, but can't he? That's a load of shit. What a letdown. I want him to die. Then the film would have ended and it would have been so much better. We get a load more shitty fights taking place. Typical Power Ranger moments. Um, some of the monsters look pretty cool, but it's just daft. I just keep thinking Power Rangers, and I always have done ever since I first saw this film. Not that I was into Power Rangers, I might add. So anyway, the girl's father just happens to be one of the alien creatures, but he's a good alien creature. Anyway, he gets the shit kicked out of him. The main bad guy becomes a guy with a zoinoid or something. He has a fight with Sean, kicks his ass, but Sean kicks his ass because the guy the Zoinoid unit is corrupt or destroyed or damaged or something bullshit like this. Um, he eventually melts into the ground, which is so random. And, yeah, that's about it, really. This fella's always asking Sean what he knows and who he's working for. Every time they're on screen together, it's like, come on, move on with the script and the story. It's ridiculously boring now. Even up until the last scene of the film, he's still asking what he knows and all this jazz. It's like, oh god. So, that's the guy, but... It's not bad overall. It's just like Power Rangers, but it's got a bit of swearing in it and it's a hell of a lot more violent. Um, it's pretty harmless entertainment, but it's a bit too long at about two hours. So, uh, but if you've got two hours to spare, then it's quite good fun to watch. It's pretty much a glorified B-movie. Um, like I've said, it's running time's a bit too long at two hours and the storyline's not needed, most of it. Um, you just want to see the Power Ranger moments. Um, so, it's worth watching. 6 out of 10. Uh, oh, what happened? Oh no. I watched the Giver.